Hello. I want to spend some time today to talk to you about more of our Google Play features. So I have a lot of videos on here about how to use uh, all of our features for iOS and I thought I'd take some time to touch upon Google Play specifically. So let's go ahead and add a Android app. I'm showing you how to do so here. Make sure you select Android. And once we do so, I'll just let that populate. You're going to be prompted to add your keywords. Right away, we pull up all of the keywords that we find. So let's hit submit and check out the data on those keywords. I'll just do a brief overview of what we're looking at. This is under the Analyze tab, and this is our keyword tracking one of our primary and most useful tools. So search score is how often this particular term is searched. So the higher the search score, the better. We're going to want to find keywords with high search scores that we rank as high as possible for. So anything over 30 is a healthy search score. Uh, it exists on a scale of one to 100. 100 being some of the most searched items, uh, search terms, on the Google Play Store. So transportation 51 has a very healthy one. The next thing that you want to pay attention to is uh, play chance. So if we weren't ranking for transportation and it was simply a keyword that we were interested in using, then we would want to look for words with a higher chance because it's the higher likelihood that you'll actually rank for that word. Play apps is the competitiveness of that word. So for this particular keyword, transportation, 250 other apps in the Google Play Store are also using this word and ranking for it. So that's the brief overview of the keyword tracking portion for Google Play. Uh, again, if you're curious to investigate a word that you may want to use or want to try to rank for, you can just go ahead and enter it here. So let's enter the term black car and ride share. Go ahead and submit those. And after doing so, we'll be able to see where we're ranking for those words. Black car, nice search score of 32. They're actually ranking 222 for it. Notice the red triangle pointing down. Keywords are a little like the stock market. They don't have a stagnant ranking. Things go up and down based on many factors, what competitors are ranking for, uh, et cetera. So uh, this gives you insight also into the fact that any keywords ranking is not stagnant over time. Uber, being such a large company, is always ranking one for its name. But if we click on black car, their ranking for this particular word changes. So that's, those are the key elements of this keyword tracking portion. Uh, additionally, we can look at keyword detector. And let's say we wanted to investigate uh, Lyft. Oops, Lyft as a competitor. And what's the other one, sidecar. Here we're able to see a list of some words that Lyft is ranking for and some keywords that Sidecar is ranking for and keywords that both are ranking for. So this offers us insight into words that we might want to consider, consider using since our competitors are using them. So again, a very valuable tool. Um, available for all of our Google Play uh, Android users as well. Competitor Insights is the next feature I'm going to touch upon. And here we pull up some competitors that um, are immediately related to the app that we're investigating. And if you click track here, you'll notice that it's being tracked. Where? Where is it being tracked at? If you go back to keyword tracking, 
you can see where Uber pairs up to Easy Taxi. So you can see the comparison of how they're doing one-on-one. -on -one. So feel free to keep going into competitor, competitor insights and adding as many competitors as you'd like. And then going back to the keyword tracking portion here and seeing you know how they fare. Again, if you um, track a competitor, you can see their full list of ratings and reviews additionally as well. Review analysis is also available for our Android developers. And it's a great place to see um, an aggregate of all of the reviews that we're looking at here. So how many stars are they getting? You can even filter by term. Let's use bug for example's sake. Now we're able to see all of the reviews that contain the word bug and the breakup of whether they're positive or negative. So this is just a very quick run through of um, all of the features that are available for our Google Play users. We do have recommended actions as well. For recommended actions, be sure to click on this plus button so that you can get a full description of how to complete each action because design unique app icon is the simplified version but then of course there's details on how to get it done as well as links to resources to do so. We also include data on the impact that this can have, how hard it is to solve, and who we think on your team you know would be the best person to do so. So of course every team is dynamic and different. Um, but this is just our suggestion. Once you've completed an icon, click it off and move on to the next one. Trends for uh, Android devices are the ranking history is available here and you can see historically where you're ranking and how that's changed. So this is a quick one through of all of the uh, features that we have available for Android apps and if you have any questions you can always reach out to us via this little question box on the bottom right hand corner and get a response from us very shortly. Upgrade to premium and we're guaranteeing a 30 minute response rate between the hours of 9 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday Pacific Standard Time and really quickly any other time than that. So uh, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks.